Namaste, Jai Hind. Today, I'm going to talk about how music influences our soldiers, how it inspires us, and also how music has played a great role in the life of creating new nations. And, and the example that I'm going to give you is of Bangladesh. It'll be interesting for you to know the connection that a soldier has to music. And uh, in fact, you must be wondering, you know, soldiering is such a different art, you deal with weapons. But the fact is, right from our training, when we start our training with the bugle calls, to our battle cries, to the parade that you see in the Rajput during Republic Day Parade, or the beating the retreat where soulful music is played when you call an end to the celebrations of the Republic Day, which you all are witness to, it's something that is part of our lives. You know, music actually has the ability to bypass all our senses and rouses us to do patriotic deeds and, uh, and connects to us. You know, if you look at it, it's the national anthem that is connecting all of us. It's not national symbols and everything. And every Indian proudly stands up, his hair stands up when he sings the national anthem, doesn't it? Well, and that brings me to the story of uh, Bangladesh when 1971, when East Pakistan was under Tikka Khan. And the whole world was arrayed against India while 10 million refugees came into our country. And we were a poor country and we were still never turned them back. You know, and, and you compare the manner in which the, the West is today handling the refugee crisis from the Middle East. We never turned back those people. But the fact is this exodus had been created by General Tikka Khan and the policy of the Pakistanis after the cyclone of uh, 1970 where people were dying. It was one of the most miserable cyclones. But what kept them together was that Rabindra Sangeet. And what Pakistanis wanted to have is to create a, a pan-Pakistani identity, not a Bengali identity existing from the Pakistan. And he banned all forms of music. You know, Rabindra Sangeet was banned, Radio Dhaka played. Music ki Mera Sundar Sapna Beet Gaya was the theme song which is sung by Geeta Dutt and S.D. Bhaman, both Bengalis themselves. And then he kind of banned the music and there was a kind of a thing. But that that aroused more patriotism in those people. And uh, I want to tell you one very less known aspect of the war. While we all are proud of the fact that the Indian Army and the Mukti Bahaini in Bangladesh fought valiantly for the battle for liberation of East Pakistan and creation of a state called Bangladesh for Bengali people. The fact is that music played a great role in the liberation. You know, Nixon and Kissinger were in power in the West and the United States and they had decided that uh, their uh, puppet, the dictator who was, uh, was an important ally of the, of the Americans was important to be pleased and they insisted that you know, the world turn, turn a blind eye to the atrocities being committed in East Pakistan. And the world turned a blind eye as America called the shots and uh, there was a consul general called Blood who sent a telegram called the Blood Telegram. He said that the atrocities being committed is unmasked in scale, probably masked only by what Hitler did to the Jews. But nonetheless, the world turned. And then that's when Ravi Shankar, who went to George Harrison, who was his pupil and disciple, and as a Beatles, uh, you know, Beatles was a great fan of India. He was, uh, they've been to India many times. And he said that Ravi Shankar came to me and he said that I want you to do something for my people. And that's when he created the first, first ever concert for humanitarian causes was the concert for Bangladesh which was uh, played on 1st of August 1971 in Madison Square. The tickets were sold in half an hour. It had great stars like Bob Dylan, Ringo Starr, Ravi Shankar, Joe Beatles and, every, and all the uh, Eric Clapton and name them. And Ravi Shankar says of the concert that till yesterday no one knew about Bangladesh. In one hour the whole world knew about Bangladesh and that is the power of music. You know, we are like, I don't know, like for us, soldiers and for uh, for every countryman after 1962 when uh, Lata Mangeshkar sang that beautiful song you know e mere watan ke log wo yaad karo kurbani it is such a soul stirring music you know and our country identifies you see musicians can inspire people music transcends cultures you know empires have fallen and gone but music stays and that's something that is the power of music and that's why you know we need to understand that you know there is a lot of power in our culture and our thing. And it is said that as the music, so the people.